Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Desmond the Rideshare Whisperer coming to bring you a new video today to help you make money while you out here doing Uber and Lyft, guys. Today, I'm actually talking about specifically with the Uber platform, guys, long pickup rides. Are they really worth it on Uber? And let me explain to you why. Um... It's kind of a loaded question, but at the end of the day, they are worth it. And here's the reason why, guys. On Uber's platform, if someone requests a trip and there's no one close to them, supposedly, close to them, <laughs> and I mean supposedly because they do some funny things in their algorithms, that's a whole different story here, guys. But... If there's not someone close to them within the first five miles, that rider that they ping, which could be you or I, that gets pinged to go pick that person up, if that rider has to travel over five miles, then Uber will pay them, I think it's like 42 cents per mile to go pick that person up, guys. And that's on top of what you're going to receive in commissions once you get that person into the car and of course you take them to their destination so what does that mean and, and, and why is that a why is that a good thing because it is truly unfair for a driver to get a request to pick somebody up and they're 15 miles away and you get paid nothing on that trip which is what Lyft does Lyft loves to send people long pickup requests but they don't like to pay money for you to go on those long pickups so essentially you can end up taking a loss on that trip financially which is not good for you definitely because it's wear and tear on your vehicle it's miles on your vehicle um it's time off of your life and you're not getting paid for it so it's like why in the heck would i want to do it versus on uber if that person like let's say for instance uh yesterday morning i had a i had someone that requested an uber and literally they were 15 miles away yeah that's right yeah i'm mean, the reason that's the reason why i'm going for because the trip was actually i was literally 15 miles away from the pickup of this person now that trip would have came on lyft there would be a cold day in hell before i even picked them up let me just be honest with you because like i said in the previous video if it's five and below, I'll go. Five and, five and above, <laughs> you get no love. <laughs> That's just what it is, guys. So, when I got the request came in, I just said to myself, you know what? I'm going to drive the first five miles, and the next 10 miles, I'm getting paid 42, I think it's like 42 or 43 cents per mile to go pick that person up. So, I'm having trouble hearing you. Siri, please shut up. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why Siri on my, my Apple Watch, she loves to talk when I'm not talking to her. It's, it's crazy. So anyhow, I got paid for the 10 miles to go pick this person up. And then they were going about 5.6 miles down the road when I picked them up. So I got paid to go and pick them up, which is $4 and some change. And then I got paid my 75 cents per mile plus 11 cents per minute to drive that person to their destination so i made money off of that now on the other on the flip side of that coin if it was on lyft i would have driven 15 miles empty cargo no money received pick the person up make 75 cent per mile plus 11 cent per minute to, to drop that person off listen guys let's face it you're out here to make profit you want to maximize on your profit that's why i say on lyft Five and below, I'll go. Five and above, you get no love. That's just it. Uber, whole different ball game. Because me personally, I set my own parameters saying that, hey, anything past five miles. And now, don't get me wrong, before Uber came out with the long pickup fee, it was the same thing with them. If you sent me a trip that was 5.2 miles, my car was not moving to go pick that person up. Because you don't know what you might be running into. This person might only be going a block down the road and you give, you, you've spent five miles on your vehicle, gas, wear and tear, 
and you make buckets on that. Guys, you gotta be smart when you're out here doing ride share because there's a lot of a lot of pitfalls that you can fall into and it will equate to you not making money, guys. So like I said, on Uber, because they do pay you to go on to, to go on, on long pickups to go pick the person up, it is definitely advantageous to you to do it. Now, however, I will say this. There are events where somebody may have a long, it may be a long pickup and they might go, let's say, a half a mile on the road. I have seen it sometimes where it's really not worth it. You know, considering the fact, especially if you're leaving a hot spot to go to a not, not so hot of a spot to pick somebody up to take them a mile down the road. So that's something that you might have to do to up to you, you know, to your own judgment. But for the most part, long pickups on Uber is definitely worth it because you're getting paid <laughs> to ride without having a passenger in your car before you even pick the passenger up. So that's good stuff, guys. So, like I said, guys, this is Desmond Ride Share Whisper. If this video was beneficial to you, definitely give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you click the subscribe button on my channel. Also, click on the bell in the bottom right corner of this video so that you can get my contact directly in your inbox every time I put new content out. Also, guys, if you are new to Uber and Lyft and you're looking to get started, you definitely want to go to the links in my in the description below this video because when you sign up with another driver and once you get so many trips uber will kick you a bonus for signing up and of course i'll get a kickback too for referring you to uber and a lift i recommend signing up for both of them because things happen so you can always drive on either platform guys also if you're currently a uber or lift driver and you went directly to the corporate office and sign up so you didn't get to get the bonus you can actually still go to the links in the description use your same information that you signed up for your account originally and they may retroactive active give you well retroactively give you that bonus anyway guys so check it out definitely is worth the try but anyhow guys that's it that's all i got for today Desmond, the Raj here, Whisperer, giving you tips and tricks so you can go out there and do Uber and Lyft and be successful. I'm out for now. Peace. Get your money and enjoy your day.